I just got a delivery today of kind of a lot of stuff. I got stuff here, here, down here, here, a bunch of stuff in the boat. And this, this is what we're going to start with right here. This is solar panels. And these are solar panels that I could not really afford. But I wrote to a solar panel company, these guys right here, Solbion, Solbion, and I, I just asked them, you know, would they sponsor this boat I'm making? And they're just like, yeah, sure. And I was like, wait, wait, really? And they're like, yeah, what do you need? <laughs> so they sent me four of these solar panels, lightweight, flexible. Man, they look like so high quality too. So I'll put there's like no bubbles. Like I've seen cheap ones of these before and they're all bubbly and stuff. And man, these seem really, really nice quality. And they even sent the cables in here and wire, uh, di blocking diodes. Yeah, those are blocking diodes and a bunch of Y connectors so I can connect them. I mean, I talked with the guy in email for a bit, you know, uh, just discussing what I needed and how they'd get connected and all this stuff. And he's like, we have all the stuff for that. Don't worry about a thing. And he's oh, so excited about this. Let me pull one out. Oh, look at those. 216 watts. 24 volt panels. Oh, wow. Ooh, they even have nice color on the back. I'll have to figure out how to mount them. Oh, I think the guy said they sent mounting strips, like sticky strips, too. Maybe those are in, in this box. So, dry season just started, I think. It is so hot the last, like, day or two. Oh. Great for solar panels, though, with all that sun. All right, let's see what else is in here. Maybe the sticky things are in this bag. No, this is the cables and connectors. Whoa, nice stuff. Oh, beauty. That's so excellent. I've never had like all the connectors before because, you know, usually usually I'm trying to save money. So I just kind of like cut off all the connectors and wire nut everything together. This is, oh, I, I'm feeling a little spoiled. Wait a second. The entire back is sticky. All right, I better not mess that up. So they're not green on the back. That's just the protector of the sticky stuff. They're so light too. They're, they're like, what, 10 or 15 pounds for 216 watts? Oh, so nice. I'm gonna have to make some good mounting stuff for these. All right, other thing I got for the boat. This should be two motors. You know, Amazon likes to put small stuff in enormous boxes, so I have to pay extra shipping to get it to Panama. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is like a $600 motor that I, uh, I was scouring Amazon and eBay and whatever else place might have deals and I managed to find one for I think it was 140 or something like that. It was around 150 bucks, brand new. And I also found a used one for I think $30. Uh, I couldn't pass that up. So this this has got to be the used one because it's not all wrapped up. Oh, it looks in good shape though. Yeah, it looks almost new. Oh wow, it's in really good shape. Oh, nice deal, Jamie. Good job. These are 24 volts, 1800 RPM, three quarter kilowatt, so 750 uh, watts. 40 amps and it's roughly one horsepower and coincidentally except not really coincidentally because I planned it this way four of these solar panels which is how many I have will run this motor at full power when the sun is out without even touching the batteries with a little bit of energy to spare at high noon so on a used motor the thing that gets used up on them is the brushes and the brushes we right in here Oh, wow. That looks great. The brushes are... Let me see if I can get one out. Yeah, that looks like brand new almost. 
the brushes aren't even worn in all the way and there's no dirt inside. This is like a brand new motor. They must have, this must have been a return. Someone must have bought this, <sighs> tested it or something and just sent it right back because it's barely used. So I got two of these just in case the used one was really used. But uh, it looks in good shape, so I think I'm going to start by using this one. Put this one on the shelf for a future project. I could even take this one and put it on my lathe there. Then I wouldn't need an, a bigger inverter to run it. There. That's a separate issue. Back to boat things. Other things I got for the boat. Uh, gear making stuff. This guy in here is... Wait, what's it called? It's this thing. It's a semi-universal dividing head. Yeah, that. In other words, it's a controllable turny thing, so I can... Wow, that is really heavy. I need my other hand. Oh, there's a tiny bit of rust on there. Better take care of that before it gets anywhere. So, what this does is I can put something in here and then I can turn this lever and it will and it rotates this and I can turn this like spe specified amounts and see this has a whole bunch of holes in it I can turn this lock it into a hole and this will turn like a really precise number of degrees or fractions of degrees even so if I want to cut gears I can mount a gear in here and then you know Take 360 degrees divided by the number of gear teeth in the tooth and then turn this that many degrees and then I know that's where my next tooth goes and it's it'll be so precise because I've been making them just kind of like uh, kind of like eyeballing using a ruler yeah you know, just kind of hand measuring it and this here is a bunch of R8 collets if you don't know what that is it basically is uh, things that will it's for the milling machine so it makes it so it holds stuff better than just like a regular drill chuck and there's a whole bunch of them with different size holes and these go up inside the thing and then lock onto different tools and this here is one of the tools that I'll need it for okay this is the this is like the post to hold the tool, like the cutter blades, whatever you call them. And in here are a bunch of cutter blades. Here, let me just show you one. And these are designed to cut gear teeth. You can see the profile there. So now I should be able to make very precise gears of that tooth size. So I know what these are. They're the, the things to you know line up when you're turning the, that thing. I do not know what this is. You have to investigate. Oh, so what's next? Mount these solar panels, put one of these motors in, or I could remake my pedal gears. The current pedal gears are totally functional, and they'll be functional for an indefinite period of time. So I'm not going to worry about those, because um, even if they break, I can paddle it really easily. So I'm not going to get stuck away from home. These solar panels are huge and taking up lots of space. I think that's an excellent reason to start with those. So get these mounted, then get the motor mounted, then I can put all the electronics in between that and that. All right, how do I mount these solar panels? I want to do something really good.